uh, it felt like a, a mixed week, not the result you wanted last Saturday, but uh, I thought a comfortable win on, on Tuesday night. In truth, it felt like a game that Lincoln were largely in control of. Yeah, uh, I think you know they had a lot of possession, but it was in areas that, that we were happy with, and they didn't particularly hurt us at all. Um, you know that's a, that's the way we play. Uh, you know we're happy with teams playing in front of us. It doesn't hurt us, and as you said, I felt like we were largely in control of the game. Yeah. I thought in both games there's also signs of pattern of play. Well, clearly, the work you're doing here on the on the training pitches, you can start to see relationships building because a lot of you are new to each other. Yeah, um, you know, it was always going to take a couple of games. Couple of preseason was mixed teams as well, wasn't it? So you know, coming into that first first league game away, there's a lot of boys that possibly haven't played together. Um, as you said, there's a lot of getting used to, but you know we work on patterns of play as well with the coaching staff here. So you know we're quite well, we're a very well drilled team with and without the ball. So I feel like everyone now to you know know the rules in the team. And in your part of the pitch, there's some real options now, isn't there? Both yourself and Ethan left footers. Obviously, Alistair can play on the right. You've played with both in the first two games. Teddy can come in as as well. Also, Jack, I know once he's a wing back, can play midfield as well. So some very different options in midfield. Also, I know the managers talked about playing two or three in midfield at times. Yeah, I think there's there is good options, and I think that's what you need to be a competitive club at, at any level. Really, you need the uh, squad depth, and you need you know people pushing each other, fighting for spaces. So I think all four or five of us, you all think we all relish it, and all four or five are good top players as well. So and I think we relish that competition against each other. Um, you know, and we want to push each other and ultimately I think we all want to get to the same place, we all want to push the team up the table and get as far as we can. From a personal point of view, how important was that four or five months you had at Lincoln coming in in January in terms of being ready for this season? Because clearly playing League One is different to the SPL. Yeah, I think, it, I think I've played 20 odd games and I think it gives you a, a feel of almost what you're going to, obviously teams change, managers change etc, teams get promoted, relegated, but I think it gives you a and a rough idea of what you're going to face next season and you know obviously some teams got promoted but you know we've already played Bolton who are probably going to fin you know be up there this season and it was a it was a good test in the first game but you know that sets the standard of you know we caused Bolton some problems so why can we not cause other teams problems and can you feel an evolution in the way the team play clearly didn't play a lot with the ball last season but the managers talked about having more possession than last time around, also attacking wise you got more options probably going forward? Yeah I think you know that that was a sort of is our identity almost isn't it, we're a high press and fast counter attacking team uh, and we're good at it, you know, we've got the bodies to fit it so why not stick to it and as you said you know there may be games that we may have more of the ball than we did last season but you know we'll stick to the plan and Ultimately, it's just about getting the three points and picking up wins. And hopeful it's going to be important to be successful this season. First chance on Saturday. Yeah, I think we want to make it. You know, fortress. Um, it's a great atmosphere there. Uh, even lads that I know that play against us from other teams say it's some atmosphere that you guys have got going. So, you know, it's a hard place to come. Uh, and I think you know, there's nothing better than when you know that the opposition almost fearing coming to play at your, your home ground. And you know, we're trying to make that fortress. We will get the fans behind us early. And, and we'll try and pick up as many points as we can. It felt at times last season that sometimes the, I wouldn't say the lesser teams, but you know, not the, the teams competing for the playoff places, it was hard to get it right at home sometimes in terms of having a bit more of the ball. But as I said, looking at the, the squad you have now, that it should be uh, e not necessarily easier, but more possible to do. Yeah, uh, you know, we possibly did struggle against some of the so called lesser teams last season. Uh, they make it hard for us, you know, maybe they play us at our own game plan almost, but that's something that, you know, we'll quickly rectify I'm sure this season and we'll, we'll look forward to playing them and we'll look forward to having the ball a bit more, as you said. And in terms of Wickham, you must be looking forward to playing them, they must have some good memories of last season, especially yeah. that wonder goal we saw from last year, which I'm yeah. sure he never talks about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't need an end of it from him, but no, it was obviously world, world class goal really, wasn't it? Um, so no, we're looking forward to playing them, obviously back at home, uh, first home game of the season and you know, we're relish the task ahead and you know, Wickham will probably be a good side this year as well, so you know we want to test ourselves against the best, don't we?